What's going on Spartans? King here and today we're going to be doing an epic episode. Now on screen is a huge loot raid. Look at how much loot's on this base. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to drop your spells in order to win with Garch. And Garch is the best farming strategy in the game and I'm going to tell you guys why. Now as you can see, just taking out as many of these wizards and mortars as possible. That extra mortar there is heavily damaged. So the weak point of this base is the left bottom side. But we're going to take out the outer rim here and get rid of all the loot we can first and wall break in in as many areas as possible. And then we'll stream through and hopefully get the win along with all the loot. We'll see how much we can steal though. Watch along and you guys will see some epic raids and an awesome strategy to use. Now as you can see just dropping down the goblins, slowly taking out everything and drop in the archers in order to get that 50% and wreck everything else including the defenses. Now you may notice my voice is a little bit deeper than normal guys. That is because I've been super sick lately and that has been why I've not been uploading a ton. And I'm sorry about that guys but just somehow cannot shake whatever I've caught. I have no clue what's going on but I've been really sick. Now we're on the town hall and as you can see I got some archers on there and my king is taking all the hits over here in that right side. He's inside the base. Let's enrage him. Give him some extra power. And of course, my archers and goblins are streaming in, slowly taking everything. Those archers are hungry for that gold. And as you can see, just slowly dropping more archers to take out that town hall. We are looking for an easy win here, along with as much loot as possible. Now, my archers are going to get that expo, and now work on some more defenses. Let's go ahead and focus on the top of this base now, because that's where most of the loot is sitting. So here we go, getting into the base and taking out those outer mines and collectors. The archers are going to clear out those army camps and then start working on some defenses. But my goblins are taking most of the loot here. Now look at all that dark we just stole. And let's see, where else can we steal some loot here? Just got to try and get that queen in there. See if she can get a good percentage of the base. She's dying pretty quickly. Unfortunately, she got targeted by that cannon, which is bad news. But she is in viz, and that means that she is going to go crazy here and wreck a ton of these defenses. Now... She might not be able to get it all, but let's see how much loot she can steal before she goes down. If only I could get everything here. Oh, it's going to be so close. Those goblins are going for some dark, and the queen's going to help out. And it looks like we're going to get every ounce of dark elixir in this base. Unfortunately, the queen is going to go the wrong direction, and she is going to attack a dead inferno tower. So that is unuseful. She does go down though, but we did get 386,000 gold plus 475,000 elixir, which is insane. And 6,000 dark. That is crazy, guys. I'm super pumped about that. Let's move on to the next raid though, and we'll continue to show you more tips and tricks. And as I said, this is an extended play, guys, so watch the whole thing if you can. If you got 15 minutes, 17 minutes, watch the whole thing because there's going to be a lot of different strategies I use. Some are going to be just taking out outer, uh, outer edges of the base. Others, I'll be taking out the inner, like, insides of the base and just working my way through. And I'll show you how to do it. Now, obviously, these bases are uh, tunnel 8s, 9s, and 10s, or actually 9s and 10s. And they do have a lot of loot. Now, I don't care what it is. If it's an easy base, a hard base, I do not care. As long as it's got a lot of loot, I'm going to attack. So, while breaking in here, just drop it some goblins slowly, making sure there's no big bombs or any small bombs that could really wreck my guys. And taking out as much of that elixir as possible on this right flank here. Now, I am dropping my clan castle. In the clan castle was a dragon and two minions, which I did not expect, but I guess that's going to be a little helpful here, which is nice. And the dragon is going to take out that king without much of a struggle, and I cannot talk at all, obviously. You can tell that. But we are wall broken into that second layer there where all the gold and more elixir is. So you can see we're working our way through there. Not much of a struggle. Going to focus on the left side now, though, because that is where all the elixir is. So dropping the queen over there, dropping some goblins, slowly making sure there's no big bombs there because that could be really devastating. And wall broken in once again. The wall breakers are going the wrong direction here. But the queen does take out that wizard tower for me, which is good news. And now she's working her way in. I'm streaming more goblins in, just trying to take all the loot I can. And that is what we're doing, guys. We are farming hard here. And that is why I'm showing you the best farming strategy ever. Now, why is this the best farming strategy? Two reasons. You can see how well it performs and how strong it is against all the loot, like the storages and mines. But you can also see that I am in Crystal 1, and I am winning 
which means I get the loot bonus too of 65,000 of each, which is really solid. Now, my queen is going to go ham here, and having a level 30 queen is helpful. Now, if I didn't have a level 30 queen, I probably wouldn't have got the second star. But with her... Now, I actually don't have my king, so that is pretty much fair. If you have like a level 15 of each, it's probably equal to a level 30 queen. Or, you know, pretty similar. Because my king is actually upgrading right now. And you can see just got that second star, 56%. She's getting the rest of this gold. How much more can she steal? She was at 50% when she started working on her own. So let's invis her and see what she can actually pump out. She's going to take that x bot, which is kind of unfortunate. I want her to go for that dark elixir, but we'll see if we can work our way back in there. That Tessa might be uh, a little destructive, so we're going to drop a lightning spell on it. And for some reason, the queen decided to walk around the wall and start fighting the other buildings on the outside of this base. So she's now distracted, and she's not working her way back in. She's working her way to the outside of the base, and we're running out of time, guys. We are using the full three minutes here. Which is really scary to me because I'd rather my queen die in the raid end than run out of time. And you can see working on this wall. Hopefully she can get through it. We only have nine seconds left. Can't she get the dark elixir? It's going to be close, guys. Oh my god, that, those mortars are going to wreck my archers. Bad news there. Tesla is distracted. And oh my god, the queen's not going to get it. Ran out of time, guys. 68%. 274,000 gold. 493,000 elixir. 837 dark and 14 more trophies for a two-star guard while farming guys and you saw right there 148 goblins were used so what i like to bring along guys is 6 to 12 wall breakers um, anywhere from 100 to 170 goblins and then anything else is archer so i'm not really picky on what i bring um, obviously when you start pushing with guards you need to have three barracks of archers and only one barrack of goblins but when you're farming, you can go any amount of goblins you want. I actually go heavy on goblins. I'd say 150 goblins is about the right number. Um, if you want to go about two and a half barracks full of goblins and then the rest archers, that is probably the proper force to actually build. But I don't wait to make sure everything's building properly. Mostly because I have mastered this force, and no matter how many I have of each, I can pretty much win and get all the loot with no problem. And that's just because I've been playing a long time, guys, and I really have been using this force forever. And it does work very well, even with the new update, even with those archer towers shooting twice as fast, even with the bombs and everything else and the mortars, all that fourth mortar and everything, you could still win and you could still push with this and you could still farm very, very effectively with it. So I will be doing a pushing episode on this in the future, showing you how to push with Garch um, after the new update, obviously. And if you haven't learned from me before about Garch, you definitely will in the future. But my queen is going to die here soon, so I'm going to invis her right there and get this gold. And we're going to call it quits right then and there. But 358,000 gold, 289,000 elixir, another 3,800 dark. This is insane, guys. I did lose that one, which doesn't matter because I am farming. But it was very close to a 50%, even not trying. And you can see... Just absolutely killing it with this force. I hope you guys are learning from this. I hope you guys are seeing the tactics behind it. Now, you only need one wall breaker when you're using goblins on purple walls because they do almost destroy the purple wall. So slowly putting troops in here, making sure there's no bombs or anything, and just trying to use just enough troops to get those mines. And as you can see, we're going to get all that gold there and then start working on the elixir pumps, which is the good news. Our archers are working their way in without getting hit by much because the goblins are taking all the hits. But the goblins are so fast, they're actually able to get the mines without much of a struggle. So I'm dropping my troops pretty heavy on the outside with archers, and then dropping very only one wall breaker there because the walls were already injured by the goblins. And you can see we went through without any issues at all. For some reason, the goblins went for that second wall rather than the elixir pump on the corner there. But as you guys notice, I'm only using one wall breaker and then a couple goblins to go through every wall. Now the reason being is I do want to save my wall breakers just in case I need them. But I'm not going to think I need them that much here. And the goblins are actually being the distraction for the archers. So the archers can take out the wizards while the goblins take the hits. So that's why I have so many archers cleaning up the outside of this base. And you can see they're absolutely doing work. And they're not dying. And that's because of the fact that goblins are taking all the hits. Now I did just realize I did have about three minions or one minion or two minions or something like that. I think it was two minions. Whatever. Two minions with me when I attacked, and that was just because I was donating and I forgot to dump them. But either way, they didn't really do anything on a positive or negative scale for this raid. As you can see, here's where I'm using those wall breakers up to wall break in. And they did do their job there, that's the good news. 
Now, we do have all these holes in the walls, and we need to get all this loot. So we're going to drop our king here as a shield, and our queen up top as a shield. And then start just scattering goblins in to make sure there's no bombs. I'm being very cautious, guys, and that's what you must do when you're using goblins because they're so fast, but one big bomb could take out 100 at one time. So you got to be careful of that, guys. But I do highly recommend that you use your heroes as meat shields, and you use them to take out wizards and mortars as much as possible because they really are useful for that. And goblins and archers are super good at taking out other buildings, so focus your heroes on the area defense because those are things that are going to screw up your force and that's pretty much all you need to get rid of. But as you can see, in the center of this base, there's no loot to steal. But the goblins and king are just going ham, hey, taking everything they can. Wrecking these storages, even though they don't need to. Which is good news. And we are going to get to that third layer. And that queen is going to go ham and just destroy the center. The expos are not loaded. Neither is the inferno tower. There's only one tesla in there. So let's see how much she can really take off this base. Let's see what percentage she can get to. I know I am farming, guys. But... Why not find out how much we could take percentage-wise? Anyway, as you can see, the queen has gone through the inner wall, and she's going to take this Tesla, which is good news, because that's about all that can kill her right now. And it looks like we're going to run out of time, guys, on this raid. Once again, running out of time is the only thing that can stop me from taking that whole base out pretty much, because there's only about one archer tower. Oh, actually, there's two archer towers, a Tesla, and a can. I could have been bad. Anyway, about 600k loot stolen. Plus a 2-star for 10 trophies and 600 dark. Really, really solid. Gotta love it. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Let's move on to the next raid. And as you can see right here, we have found once again another high loot base. This is a pretty decently leveled up Town Hall 9. Gotta love he's got those max level mines coming in. And he's definitely continuing to work on his base, you can see. Now, we're gonna drop down a few of those goblins just to go through that wall with ease. And now taking out those mines on the inside of the walls. He is trying to distract people by putting those storages on the outside and putting the mines with all the loot on the inside. Now, unfortunately, with goblins, you do need to take out the storages in order to get to the mines. And, of course, you can do it with any troop. But the goblins are able to do it four times as fast, if not eight times as fast, depending on what troop you're using. Just due to the fact that they do double damage to resources. So this is why goblins are so effective against storages and against mines and pumps. Now, while breaking in once again and destroying with these goblins. Now guys, if you are enjoying this video, stay tuned for my videos on where the best league is and where the best trophy range is to farm for different Town Hall levels. I'll be doing the best Town Hall 8, best Town Hall 9, and best Town Hall 10 leagues to farm in very, very soon. And I hope you guys are ready for that because I think that's going to be a really epic episode. And I'm really pumped to be doing that for you guys. Now, you see, this is why you drop goblins and spurts, guys, because those double big bombs absolutely killed about 10 of my goblins. But if I had streamed them all in there like most people would, I would have lost 30 or 40. So that's why you're patient and you're cautious when you're going through walls that have holes on the inside of the base. Now, one of the last mines to take is right here, and it looks like we're going to kill it. My queen is going crazy in here, invisible, and we did manage to get all of the mines. So there goes that Dark Elixir there. We did not get all the Dark, unfortunately, guys, which I am unhappy about. So I dropped a Lightning Spell on it just to get a couple hundred extra. And as you can see, we did manage to get 208,000 gold, 281,000 Elixir, 1,200 Dark, 11 trophies. So let's get another raid in here. And as you can see, another Town Hall 9. We're going to come from the top to get the extra percentage points and wall break in. As you can see, slowly wall breaking in. Now, I'm doing this because I think it's funny to show you guys how strong they are to actually get to the center of the base. Now, boom, they're actually in there, and we've destroyed everything pretty much. Now, we are almost at the town hall there, so if I really wanted to, I could have dropped a king there and gone right for the town hall, but I'm not going to. And as you can see, I just dropped a couple goblins to blow those big bombs. you got to be careful, those guys. Make sure when you use this attack force, you have to look for the spots where big bombs can be sitting and drop a goblin on them just because it's worth losing one goblin rather than losing 30 or 40 later. Now, we did wall break into the center of the base, and the goblins are taking all the storages out. The king and queen are coming in now, and they're followed up with a lot of archers. So I'm very confident we're going to end this with a nice, solid victory. Now, most of the loot is gone already. We have stolen most of it, but that king and queen are going to go crazy. Hopefully, we can get this town hall. It's going to be close, guys. I'm not sure if we can, but the king is enraged, and I'm going to invis the queen right now. And that worked out very well. Got all that dark elixir, which is only 900, but it's pretty solid. The king is going to go down before he can take the town hall out. It's at about half health with a few archers on it. Unfortunately, 
The queen is not going to have the health to go help out, so we're not going to get the town hall. But it only has 30% health, and we did clear out pretty much all of the loot, guys. So pretty awesome. 200,000 gold, 176,000 elixir, 900 dark, and five more trophies. Woo! Out of breath, guys. Really struggling to keep my uh, energy up in this video because I am super sick, as I said. Hope you guys are enjoying, though. If you are, slap that like. Make sure you are subscribed, and let's finish this video out strong, guys. Let's pull up one more raid for you. All right, we found it, guys, and let's get into it real quick here. Not a ton of gold in this base, but let's start out by taking out these wizard and mortar combos. That is the main thing you need to do with this force is take out the wizard mortars that are right next to each other. It only takes three lightning spells, so don't skimp on it, guys. Make sure you get it done. Now, as you can see, you're also going to want to use those other two lightning spells as something else, and I'll show you where to drop those in a second, but just using this time to talk and actually catch my breath. But we are going to go ahead and work our way around the space. Let's show a four times speed because I am checking the space out for a while. I did take out that mortar and wizards on the bottom that is guarding the town hall and that elixir storage. I was pretty confident my clan castle, which actually had minions and balloons. I don't know why it had air troops in it, but whatever. Absolutely useless to me. I'd much rather have ground troops, but I'm not picky, guys. So I just take whatever my clan gives me, and I don't even ask for anything. I just say, give me anything that will help out. Uh, mostly because I'd just i rather just have them give me donations. I don't really care. I basically bank on my main force, taking out everything I needed to. And unless I'm in like high champs or whatever, then I start asking for specific troops, like just a P.E.K.K.A. or something like that. But when I'm farming, I do not care. As long as it's extra troops, it will help in some way or other. Now, looks like we're not going to get that town hall there due to that dragon coming out of the clan castle. But we will come back to that in a minute. Let's concentrate on finishing the rest of this loot out here as much as possible because we do want to get the loot. That's the main thing we're going for. And we'll try and clean up at the end with that queen. So as you can see, going to wall break in, take out that dark elixir. And now we're going to go for that top there, drop in a couple goblins and another wall breaker to distract. But we're actually just going for all that dark that we can. But we're not going to win that much Dark Elixir in this base, guys. But look at how much Elixir we took. 508,000 Elixir and 88,000 gold. That is epic, guys. That is a ton. And I mean a ton of Elixir. Now let's drop this Queen down in Visitor. Take out that bottom of the base Town Hall real quick for the win. Get the extra 65k loot of each. And, of course, that allows us to leave with five more trophies. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's recap what you guys learned today. I'm just going to freeze frame it, and we will talk about what you learned. Okay, so what's the main things we need to know about Garching? Garching is the cheapest forest. It's about the cheapest force. It's one of the fastest forces. And, of course, when it actually comes to running the base, it is the fastest attacking force and the strongest, cheapest attacking force in the game especially if you're using lightning spells to take out mortars and wizards. That is what I recommend. You can also use rage and jump spells. It's a very versatile force, and you can learn your own techniques and what you like the most about it. Now, when you're wall breaking through purple walls, I suggest using one wall breaker and two goblins to get through the wall because the goblins may actually go through without much of a problem, and they'll also blow any big bombs if they're inside the walls. Now, on top of that, I also recommend anyone doing this for us go ahead and comment below and let me know what you guys use and how many troops you use and what you guys love the most about it hope you guys enjoyed though i'll see you guys in the next episode stay tuned love you guys peace